Lake Whitefish are a Michigan icon, and the open waters of Lakes Michigan and Huron were once the place to catch them. But today, whitefish there are on the brink of collapse, and it's a problem that's been brewing for nearly four decades, ever since invasive zebra and quagga mussels entered the Great Lakes in the ballast water of an ocean-going ship. Today, they blanket the bottom of every lake except Superior, and they've transformed these water bodies from biodiversity hotspots to liquid deserts. See, the mussels are voracious filter feeders, and they've stripped away the nutrients and tiny organisms at the bottom of the food web. The water they spit back out is stunningly clear, but it lacks the plankton and algae that many species rely upon for food. Baby whitefish eat nothing but plankton, so now the vast majority of them seem to be starving to death soon after hatching. These lakes once produced tens of millions of whitefish every year. Now, reproduction has been abysmal since the early 2000s, and that means most of the adults swimming in the lakes today are elderly in fish years. While the whitefish are still holding on in a few strongholds, like Saginaw Bay and Lake Superior, those populations can't make up for what's been lost. But whitefish aren't alone. As long as the mussels keep hogging all the food, Lakes Michigan and Huron simply can't support anywhere near as many fish as they once did from salmon to suckers. And making matters worse, this kind of loss is part of a global biodiversity crisis that's caused by humans changing the environment faster than plants and animals can keep up. Climate change, habitat loss, pollution, and invasive species are some of the biggest threats. And experts say, unless we stop inflicting damage, a million of the world's species could be lost forever. This video was produced as part of a collaboration between Bridge Michigan and Great Lakes Now. To read more about the forces impacting whitefish in the Great Lakes, subscribe to Bridges Environment Watch newsletter.